Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel for another video on World of Warships. This one is on the Yorktown, a tier 8 early access carrier that you can get from US aircraft carrier Battle Pass shall we call it. But yeah, so as you as usual, is she worth it? And that's the question I always try to answer. To be honest with you, she is a pretty average carrier to be truthful. She does get access to a smoke curtain generator. Which is pretty unique, actually. It can be pretty handy, but at the same time, I do think it's pretty. I do think it's pretty pointless, to be honest with you. But at the same time, she's not a bad ship. She is. She sits nicely at here. She's not overpowered. She's not too broken, but she works. Like there is a lot of people that dream overpowered, overpowered, and the reason being, to be honest with you, is you see these videos on YouTube of someone doing 200k damage on a carrier or something like that there, but any ship is capable of doing that there. It is purely down to RNG and luck of that happens. Players play smart and if the team works together in solid cohesion, the carrier can be defined very easily, very quickly. Now, is your turn strong in that aspect against AA and all? Yeah, she's got some things that work well in her favour against dealing with that type of situation. Her planes are sky riggers, so they are pretty fast for her tier. But personally speaking, I do think that people do need to look at the wider picture and start playing vehicles before they go and shark OP. Rather than I think people need to develop their own opinions rather than a, watching a video of a one in ten game, one in maybe a hundred chance game or one in ten chance game happening. But yeah, enough of that rant. Anyways, let's talk about the York Carnival. Survivability wise, she's got 50,000 points and 8% torpedo reduction, so not too bad. Pretty good that way. Aircraft, she has got AD1 Sky Raiders as torpedo bombers. There is 8 per squadron, and the size of attack and flight is 2. With an 88 second aircraft prep time, detectability range is 10. Speed 129 knots, max 165 knots. Torpedoes and payload is 2, so we're dropping 4 torpedoes. However, the max damage is 3,633 per torpedo, so the max damage is pretty poor to be honest with you. Torpedo range 3.5 kilometers, 577 meter arm distance, and the speed is 43 knots, so they're pretty slow torpedoes. The Corsairs are not too bad, excellent speed on them, 173 knot speed, 214 max, engine boost time 5 seconds, 9.1 the reload, attacking flights 5, what for squadron 5, and is 109 seconds to get the squad back essentially it's a bit like a tactical squad that way you do get access to two tiny tims per plane with a max rocket damage of 5400 68 mm pen and 33 percent chance of fire personally speaking i'm not a big fan of the tiny tims i would prefer some like h or something on her but i am not one to judge on the setup some people make tiny tims work well i'm not the biggest fan of them in my personal opinion for bombers, you get access to SB2C or S2B, SB2C or Hell Divers. Pretty solid dive bombers in all aspects. That flies the attack of flight 6, 6 per squadron, 127 seconds, getting the squadron up to 6. Not too bad. 2,898 hit points per plane. Decent speed, 128 knots, 164 knots max speed. This time is 22 and reloads 36. So, not too bad overall. Two minutes, and, 2 minutes and 7 seconds to wreck the whole squadron, it's not bad at all. Each plane carries 2 bombs, 5,600 max damage, 42 mil pen, and 32% chance of fire, so the bombers aren't that bad at all, to be honest with you. Definitely not one to laugh at, and definitely where the damage is going to be, in my personal opinion. HE rockets are too unreliable, personally speaking. For secondaries, you get... 8x1 127mm guns, pretty pointless, not going to do much. To be honest with you, your airstrike is pretty potent against submarines. So, 25 second reload, the drop 1 bomb and 4,200 mag, pretty standard, pretty standard to be honest with you. Now the aircraft armament is solid enough, pretty standard American carrier, AA fucking everywhere. 5 times single 20, sorry, 50 times single 20mm guns. 3 times dual 40mm, 6 times quad 40mm, and the 8 times 1127 one, dual purpose. For continuous damage of 335 and damage by shell explosions 1400, so not bad at all. 
Sector reinforcement is 35% and 5.8 on the firing range. So not bad at all, actually. Maneuverability is pretty fast, 32.5 knots. Turning radius is pretty poor, 1,070 meters. Rudder shift, 12.4. So the rudder shift's not bad, though. It's on par with most cruisers, actually. Concealment, 13 kilometers by sea, which isn't half bad, actually, for all. 10.2, well, 0, 0.0 to 10.2 by sub, 10.2 by air, and it sure is 2. So, yeah, not too bad overall, all things considered. Definitely not the worst and not the best, but yeah, our capabilities are pretty good. Personally speaking, yeah, 100% she is worth the grind out, especially since you get access to premium bonuses at level 13. So, to me, getting this bonus package is definitely a big buff to the ship and definitely makes it more fun to play and more. More, how would you put it, more incentivized to play as it is a premium bonus package for it. So yeah, to me it is pretty good that way, which is very nice to do. Especially considering the fact you're getting a ship that's completely fully researched out of it that way. To me it's definitely a, it's definitely a massive thing to have. Now for her upgrades, I personally recommend Air Groups Modification 1, Aircraft Engines Mod 1, Torpedo Bombers Mod 1, Torpedo Bombers Mod 2, personally speaking, and number of consu quadrant consumables plus one. That's my personal one. That's my personal opinion on it. And the reason being is, unlike the other tactical squadrons, your torpedo bombers, they don't replenish very quickly. So you do need to reinforce them a bit. So to me, you get excellent choices to get and a very smart idea to have. Now in regards to the vessel, I always put a Juliet Charlie on every ship. Victor Lima, India X-Ray. Juliet Whiskey Union and November Echo Set 7 are the biggest ones I recommend in every aspect. The Aero Mike is also not a bad choice as it does give you a wee bit of extra speed to get out of sticky situations, bring it up to 34.1 knots, so it's not too bad to have, in my personal opinion. Now, in saying that, there, if you really want to, you can also help with flood recovery and fire extinguishing by adding NDA Yankee and the Yankee Fisto. It, but to me, these ones are a pretty solid choice. You can always put an X-ray Papa unit on for the five percent on the consumable action time for the smoke curtain generator. But personally speaking, I don't think you really need it. So you do get access to. I'll say I'll put it this way. So tactical aircraft squadron. So for each one, you get engine cooling two charges. Three patrol fighters and two on the smoke curtain generators for torpedo bombers. You get engine cooling two, patrol fighter three, and in flight repair four. So not too bad that way. Overall, was she worth it? Was she worth picking up? Yeah, she was for the fact you got free pre a free premium bonus with her. So it's, it turns the carrier car into premium carrier, so you can't be bad with that in any aspect. Pretty average carrier overall. Not overpowered in any aspect, in my personal opinion. Can she be very strong in the right situations? 100% like any vessel. If a player and an enemy team doesn't counterplay, they can be very strong. The aim is if you don't play smart against a Minotaur or Edgar or Christopher Colombo firing Sap, if you don't focus targets and if you don't stay as a team and play as a team, the carrier doesn't use its tactical squadrons to protect the areas, aka by dropping patrol fighters. If people don't stay together as a group and let themselves get singled out, then it's all about team play the counter carriers. However, people don't do that and carriers can end up raining hell down everyone. But anyways, with everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. So if you do, please remember to like, subscribe, share your comments all down in the description. Love to read what people think, especially about ships all. So, with everyone, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I shall hopefully see you in game or over on Twitch or on Discord.